Hey guys, welcome to our fifth and final video on the video series describing the features of the RoboKit servo controller board. Today we are going to talk about the servo controller board and how to make an Arduino code uh, from the graphical moves that we have seen. And also we'll be interfacing the servo controller board to four of these switches and see how to uh, write the code for that. So let's get started. We have connected the battery here. Now I'm just going to fire up the software. Okay, so this is the code that we have generated. Let's see how it's gonna function. So there are four different functions here. Starting with the first function, I'm going to run sequence here. So it's gonna run the first function. It's gonna stop here. I'm going to do the second function now. Control down. So it's gonna come this side on the left. That is anti-clockwise and it's gonna stop there now i'm going to do the third function which is the control and left key so it's gonna go again to the center position uh, do the moves and then i'm going to do the final function that is control and right and it's going to come to the right side that is the clockwise uh, finish the moves and it's gonna be there in the center now we are going to convert all of these moves directly to an Arduino code. I'm just going to hit the generate Arduino code button here and it's going to ask me if it can disconnect. I'm going to say yes. So now our Arduino code is ready. What I'm going to do is fire up the Arduino IDE and let's see. So once the Arduino IDE is open, we just need to select the old things and just paste the new code. So we just select it here and hit control V so the new code is pasted here okay so these are all the settings these are the different functions that have been generated function 1 function 2 function 3 and function 4 now we will be interfacing four switches here we'll be using the digital pins d4 d5 d6 and d7 so I'm going to define those pins first so let's define define button 1 is 4 uh, so button 2 is 5 just gonna change the names here button 3 is 6 and button 4 is 7 okay and we also need to define a variable status 1 to status 4 so that we can read the status of the buttons when they are pressed so I'm going to define the variables as status 1 is equal to 0 so these variables are the status variables of each button okay so when you're pressing button 1 the input will uh, we'll read it in status 1 so status 2 is equal to 0 Just gonna copy paste and just change the numbers. Okay. So I'm gonna put status two, status three, and status four. And we need to define the buttons as input. So we go to void setup and we are going to use the pin mode function. Pin mode uh, button one is input can copy paste this four times pin mode button two as input pin mode button three as input and button four as input okay so another setting here is about the speed of the communication between the controllers a speed of 13 is uh, good enough so now we are done with the settings now we'll go to the main user loop no changes to be done in any of the part of the software so now we come to user code where we have the configuration and we have the code flow we will have to define the functions now so i'm going to define here void move one and it's a void function 
and this is going to be the function here sorry so function one is defined here we'll define void move two move two void uh, here we'll define the third function void move three close the function here and there's going to be a wide oops it's a caps lock wide move four and so these are the four functions now uh, we are just gonna take these functions and put it out of the user code just above the user code here I'm just going to paste these functions. Okay. Now coming to the user code, we have this configuration and then we have a while loop. In the while loop, we are going to read the status of the buttons. So let us say status one will be equal to digital read button one. Okay, we just need to replicate this for all the four statuses, all the four buttons. Okay, so we have status two as the button two. We have status three as the button three. And we have status four as the input of button four. Okay, so once this is done, what we are going to do is based on the status of the button so if status 1 is equal to high we will execute function 1 so that is move 1 okay I'm going to control C V, v. So here we have status 2, status 3, status 4, we have move 2, move 3, and move 4. Okay guys, I'm just gonna compile this. Let's see, hopefully we don't have any errors. Okay, all good. And I'm gonna fire up the Bluetooth board as well. We know that it was using COM port 12, so I'm going to select COM port 12, Arduino board, and directly via Bluetooth, it's going to transfer the code to the board. Now, while it's transferring the code, I'm also going to update you regarding the connections. So these are the connections that we have done uh, along with the servo controller board. So the, as you can see, uh, these are the four switches. And these four switches are using uh, pull down resistors, R1, R2, R3, and R4. And the uh, high from VCC is connected to each of the switches. So if we take the example of D4, D4 is connected via ground resistor. It is a uh, pull down resistor, it is connected to ground. And as soon as the switch is pressed, the D4 gets a high signal from VCC. Okay, so a very simple connection. Uh, okay let's see yep the code has been uploaded to the board and i've also put this jumper here so now let's see here we go so now with the press of a switch you are going to have all the functions let's start with function one this is function one as we had seen from the moves this is going to be function two where it was control and shift left so that's function two for you. Now we're going to do function three. So this was function three and function four was control right. This is function four. So as you can see, it's very uh, easy to develop this Arduino code directly from the graphical user interface and also interface any kind of hardware like switches or LEDs or any other sensor inputs that you would like to 
give with the controller. This was all regarding the RoboKit servo controller board that we had to brief you about. Uh, thanks for watching and it would be great if you guys could subscribe uh, to our channel uh, to stay in touch and we'll be uploading more exciting videos and product demonstrations. So look forward to uh, getting in touch with you guys. Uh, thanks a lot.